Minister. Act will continue to vote for it throughout the, the latest. Your time has expired. Thank you. Madam Chair. I call Lawrence Hill. Madam Chair, the mere fact that this bill is called the Taxation Annual Rates 2018-19 Modernisation Tax Administration and Remedial Matters Bill in itself, in itself highlights the point that actually there should be two bills. There should be two bills here, Madam Chair, because part of this bill is fantastic, and part of it we philosophically on this side of the House object to, and that is our right to do so. Because the good parts of this bill, Madam Chair, are changes that help taxpayers. They are changes that reduce compliance costs, the amount of time taken to complete taxation returns. They automate tax refunds, and something that I find particularly pleasing, they cut out third parties which at the moment have set up business models simply based on what IRD will soon be able to do. So agents that use technology to give you a tax refund but actually take fees for doing so, many of those will be taken out of business in the simplest form. I also um, acknowledge the changes to the donations legislation. This is modernising the environment, no different to what members of this House do with actually expense claims. They're lodged, photographed and sent in and they're all done appropriately. I also think the tailored taxation codes are going to make a fundamental difference to how people deal with taxation when they have multiple income streams or when their taxation, legislation, when their taxation position changes. There is also an ability for proactive changing of the tax codes to represent people's particular circumstances. And importantly, Madam Chair, the Retirement Commissioner's views in 2000 and 2016 have been brought into this by raging the possible contribution rates, the fact that 65-year-old KiwiSavers people can enter KiwiSaver, and I also agree with all members of the House that the saving suspension, in terms of its minimal time for, reduced from five to one years and its title, is appropriate. But, Madam Chair, I do really want to go on to what Deborah Russell said right at the beginning of her contribution to this House, that this was a shame. We are vexed by her objection because that very government, with this very Prime Minister we have now, promised no new taxes. No new taxes. But on the 1st of July, what do we have? Regional fuel tax implemented in Auckland. So of course we object on this side of the House because what you said you were going to do, you're not actually doing. Not me. You actually, sorry, not what the other side of the House or the government said it was going to do is not actually doing. It also removed legitimate tax cuts that were made by this side of the House when they were in power. They were went through the Parliament, they were legitimised, and then from the 1st of July they were meant to come in. And despite what the Honourable Member Chris Barfoy said, most of our tax cuts were actually aimed at lower income people. It wasn't all for upper income people, it was actually specifically targeted. Now, Madam Chair, I also want to comment on what are the, some of the expenses and the choices that this current government have made. $2.8 billion to students, not one extra student enrolled. $3 billion to the Shane Jones Fund, and it's going to be really difficult to spend that level of money, and $1 billion to foreign affairs. But I particularly want to comment because this is about tax rules and tax amounts for the coming year. From the 1st of July, Sunday, People in Auckland will pay 11 and a half, are paying 11 and cents a litre more for their fuel. This government has also signalled they will pay another 12 cents a litre for fuel over the next three years. And, they also, and the members on the other side, members of the current government, said we needed to do all that because we've got to fund everything. If that's the case, why did you strip $5 billion? Order. Why did the Order. government strip $5 billion out of the state highway network across New Zealand? Places not my own are going to pay more and get nothing. It's outrageous. And you wonder why we on this side oppose this bill, because it's all been put together in things we feel very strongly about. Madam Chair, we have a philosophy in the National Party that people are better able to spend their money than any government. That's why we brought in uh, tax cuts. And actually, those tax cuts, those tax cuts were cancelled. I also remind members of the government benches 
As you look at this new piece of legislation, remember, you talk about tax promises, or you talk about election, sorry, the government talks about election promises. I apologise, Madam Chair. Okay. Government talks about election promises, but actually the government forgot about one fundamental promise it made in that election campaign. There would be no new taxes. And from the 1st of July, that fundamental promise has been breached and broken, and that is why this, this side of the House is so upset at this piece of legislation. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam, Madam Speaker, I call Willow Jean Prime. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be the final speaker in this debate.